Faith Time is our weekly conversation on matters of faith. And joining us this morning is Wayne Miller with Grace Lutheran Church in Mobile. Thank you for joining us this morning, sir. Thank you for having me, Chad. We wanted to talk about the Christian Epiphany. What is that? The Christian Epiphany is sort of the official end of the Christmas season, mm -hmm. being that there's 12 days of Christmas. We have January 6th, which is 12 days after Christmas, mm -hmm. and uh, the Epiphany recognizes the time where the three wise men come, and they recognize uh, that Jesus is King. They come, and they worship Him, and recognize Him as Lord. Now, it's also, Epiphany is also known as Three Kings Day as mm -hmm. well to some cultures. So, what lesson can we learn from this part of the Christmas season? Yeah, there's a lot of lessons with it, but when we say epiphany, well, epiphany means a revealing, right. a revelation. Uh, Luther always said that the Bible is the cradle that holds the Christ, and we are revealed to the Lord uh, through the Word of God, and the Word of God incarnated through the flesh of Jesus. Uh, we know who Jesus is, the Savior of the world, the Messiah, not only to Jews, but also to Gentiles, mm -hmm. as seen when the three kings come to worship Him. The three kings also each brought a gift for Jesus. Yeah. Why were those gifts significant? They were significant. We have gold, frankincense, and myrrh, myrh. right? Uh, gold is sort of a prophecy in a way. Uh, they were not only the first Gentiles to come and worship Jesus, but gold signifies uh, something that's fit for a king. Mm -hmm. uh, frankincense uh, is something that's fit for worship. And myrrh is something that was used for embalming mm. uh, back in the day. So myrrh is used for embalming, really showing uh, us Christians that he wouldn't need that. Uh, obviously, the women at the empty tomb, uh, they found it empty. They would not need the myrrh. All right. The Christian Epiphany, Wayne yes. Miller with Grace Lutheran Church. We thank you for joining us for this edition of Faith Time. Of course, we'll talk a little bit more about this in the next hour of News 5 this morning.